Holy good hell, look at this. This is the introduction to the Fenrir bagging system brains. We've got some relays, power supply, and the motor controller. Things to note, you want this switch on 5 volts, not 24 volts. It should be set to that, but just to make sure. These switches are for controlling your motor speed. You essentially want the first four up, fifth down, six up, last two down, like so. Now the first two wires you want to pay attention to are the ones coming out of the top of the Fenrir brain box. And those are for your solenoid. There's a black wire and a red wire. These control your water. There's a flyback diode in between those two things and they control the current going in one direction. We'll go into more of that later. I promise. Then get a handle on this fucking rat's nest. You got essentially four wires coming out of the Fenrir brain. <coughs> the motor controller. And those things have female bullet connections on them. Turn it around the back. And your last two wires you really got to give two shits about are going to be the ones where all of your power goes to. You have a red wire and a black wire. And those will go to your 24 volt power supply or transformer. Oh my god, it's the Fenrir Auger Trough. Super simple square tubing, caps on both ends, motor on top, and you got the auger in between. Oh my god, the bagging chute! Okay, the bagging chute has a solenoid attached to it, and essentially it's four self-tapping screws to get this motherfucker to stay in place. Turn it on over and take forever, Eric. Mamma Jamma, would you look at that? It's finished, let's go home. Kidding. You're gonna take the four wires that are coming out of the Fender brand box and you're gonna attach those two bullet or four bullet connections in lightning speed time just like this. And it's complete. This is the Fender scale, load cell, and bag supports. There's a bolt on the bottom where you'll connect. <coughs> <laughs> Jesus, let's try that again. There's a bolt on the bottom in which you will connect your load cell to unislut, I mean unistrut, um, and that will hold everything tightly in place. But you want to make sure there's a gap between there. Open this sucker fish up, and the only real connections you're going to have to make to the internals of the box are going to be these four wires, which control your load cell. They go into the relay in the following order. Red. Black. White. And green. Take a closer look if you don't believe me, because here it is. Wham. Slam. Unscrew it. Whip it down and around. And close that sucker fish up. Basically, it takes 12 inches of any three quarter inch plywood attached to a wall to start any single fender bagging system unit. You can have a hopper, whatever dimensions you want, with a little bit of blocking to make sure that the pellets flow into the back of this fender auger trough. Just like so. You'll need a water supply line as well as an electrical supply to make sure you can run the thing. Flip this sucker fish over. Grab a piece of, you know, whatever you got hanging around for wood. Screw it into the back. Like so. And there you go. You got a mounting block now. Attach the sucker fish to the wall. How many times will he say sucker fish? And you're pretty much good to go. First connections you're going to want to make are going to be coming from that exact Fenner brain box to your motor. It's now finally mounted. Make sure you match the colors up correctly. Pull it taut. Rewired. Wind up the excess wire or cut it off or do whatever you want to do. Get it out the way. All right. Now let's hook up 
the water solenoid. Essentially, with your solenoids, two units pointed down, your black wire is going to be on the left and your red wire is going to be on the right. See that little gray strip or circle around that flyback diode? You want to make sure that's closest to the red line. That's super important if you rewire this thing. If you get it backwards, the water will always be on or you'll fry the unit or who knows what. Okay, unislet. I mean, it's unistrut. <coughs> this stuff is really helpful. It comes basically in many different sizes and shapes. But what we suggest doing for a single head unit is just popping two blocks into each side, cut down appropriately, flipping it over, screwing them in place. And then taking some pretty beefy screws and attaching them across your hopper right under the bagging head. And you want to make sure you have a opening of one of these unistrut holes directly center above the bagging unit to mount your load cell. Like such. Oh wait, shit. <laughs> Open that sucker fish up and now we're going to attach, once again, those fantastical wires that go to your load cell. Unscrew, re-screw, tighten, and you got red, black, white, and green. Let that sucker fish droop and close up the Fenner box brain, also known as the birdhouse. There you go, load cell scale, bag wings, and the load cell wires going all the way up to your Fenner brain. Well, that was very artsy. All right, and the last two wires you got to worry about are your power supply wires. You got a red that goes to the V plus, and you got a black that goes to the V negative. If you want to plug in more than one of these units, you can. Up to three will plug into a single 24 volt power supply. I think these are 300 watts. Attach your electrical cord, not supplied, because I think that's illegal, I'm not quite sure. You got the ground, you got the neutral, and you got the hotline. Drape that shit on over, and there you go. Here's a quick example of just taking out the motor. It's four single screws, essentially back them on out. And you can wiggle the worm of the auger out. You're gonna have a coupler that might come loose from time to time. You just need a little bit of Loctite and an Allen wrench to make sure you can tighten it back up. Put it right back in and pop those four screws back into place and you're ready to go again. When in doubt, undo your bullet connections so you don't end up with, you know, wires everywhere. <gasps> Oh my goodness, your load cell's connected, your water solenoid's connected. The last thing you really have to do is plug it the fuck in. Plumb in your water supply and make sure to put a ball valve. This will help you to regulate your water flow. To finish the hopper, essentially cut a V out of the bottom of the piece of 12 inch by whatever the size hopper you want and attach it with some screws. You can make these things whatever the hell size you want. Essentially a four by eight sheet of plywood will make four Fenner bagger units. Put a little block on the bottom and attach the last side plate. Sexy. Can you hear my dog snoring? Oh my God, take forever, Eric. Okay, cool, there's the inside. It's all ready to pour pellets in and plug in. Wow, look what you did. It looks so good. On the side of the Wii U unit or the Fender box, you just need a little screwdriver to flip this switch down and that will kick the unit on. Flip it up, it turns it off. Test the auger. Test the water. And make sure all these functions are working correctly from this screen right here. You can also test the scale. Once you've tested the scale, go up and calibrate. Click, click, grab something that's exactly 10 pounds measured from another scale, and pop that sucker fish on the scale. 
Essentially, it'll go through the whole calibration setup saying, oh my god, my scale was 12.6. Now it's correct with a new calculation. <sighs> and then you remove the block and you're ready to go. All you gotta do, tap on the scale with a fresh back, pellets will fall. Now remember that ball valve off to the left? You wanna make sure to regulate that. Start with it closed and then open it slowly to make sure you're not gonna blast this mother block right off the scale. Given that I don't know your freaking water pressure, but I just know mine and it's high. Increase it slowly until you get to the speed you want. And then as soon as the water is done filling on this initial bag, you'll be good to go. You got your first block. Take it off the scale and replace it. Here's what the actual fender bagger looks like when you add a bag. It needs X amount of pounds of pressure to push on the weight, and then all of a sudden, pellets will start falling into the bag, and they'll load up until they get close to 4.3, okay, 3.3, and then it starts to add water. And once the water gets up to the appropriate scale weight of X percentage, so in our case, in this, 62%, I think we said it to, then you're done. When it reaches 10.59. Take the bag off, put another one on, and let it hit frappe. Nice witch's broom. Holy shit. Do you guys realize you can just bag like, like that now? Whoa. Later.